about to go on a morning walk. Um, let's uh, get some productivity going before my work day. Got to go in at like 1.15. It's about 11.47 now. So let's go on that walk. So I'm out here doing my morning walk. Um, I've decided to do a morning walk before work. Probably, I'm gonna try to do five times a week, um, if not every day. So, you know, that'll be fun. And along the way, I might as well do some recording, you know? Um, We've moved in to this really awesome neighborhood in Gagesburg. Um, a lot of unique houses, cool cars drive through here every once in a while. Um, but yeah, uh, I've decided to do a daily walk just cause um, I need to make sure that I'm not like gaining weight and you know I heard that like getting more steps in your day is probably for the best um, good for the heart stuff like that Yeah, it's a beautiful neighborhood. Bunch of different trees and birds, plants out here. nice it's nice so my plan is to walk towards this park that we have near us come around or come back maybe do another round around the neighborhood <sighs> sorry my coffee is coming up from this morning I had a caramel cream with uh, milk and sugar. Um, yeah, no, I'm really glad that we decided to bring our cure. Um, that's one thing that has been a staple in my life so far. That cure machine. It's little, but it does wonders. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> but yeah, no, in all seriousness, I am committing myself to self-improvement for six months. Um, I'm trying to get it to where I haven't missed a day at work um for over three months um just because i'm trying to like i said makes make an effort to have some self-improvement in my life um other than that you know uh, other than that um there's the walking uh, I found my journal, so that's freaking awesome. Um, it was stuck lodged in underneath the seat of my car. So, you know, now I can do some more journaling. Um, 
So walking, so that's exercise. Um, what did I say? Journaling, that's for my mental health, as well as just to keep track on everything. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna add push-ups every now and again, um, just cause I want to, I want to start getting healthy. Um, my daughter turned one not too long ago. So, you know, there's going to be a time where she is running and going to the park and I'm going to have to keep up with her soon. You know what I mean? So it's just the reality that I need to lose weight, get healthier. Um, right, right. Uh, the other thing was going to work on time every day for three months. Um, I did the calculations and if I can do that, I believe I'll be able to get on top of everything in terms of, you know, financial stability. Um, if I can do six months, then I might be able to get on top of everything fi financially. Um, but also, if I can do it for six months, I might be able to, I might be able to um, uh, clear out my debt. So if I'm able to clear out my debt, that would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. I watched this guy named Anthony O'Neill. His show is Table with AO, or The Table with AO. He talks about financial stability. He interviews people that have made millions from nothing. And they're usually black or brown. So I really love his show um, for that. Just being able to show, uh, you know, examples of uh, black or brown excellence. You know what I mean? to get that done i can't wait to i feel impatient about it but that's just another thing that i have to work on you know what i mean because if i'm impatient about it and i can't do the work and do the steps that i'm trying to accomplish then it's going to be all for nothing you know so little by little every day i'm gonna do things to progress better myself make sure that we can you know, do a little better for ourselves. Do a little bit better for ourselves and build up a life that we want, right? Because if we don't build up that life that we want, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough, you know what I mean? Life will be tough. It already is tough. So, you know, let's get moving. Let's get grooving. I'm 27 years old, you know. Um, right now we're living at a, in a basement apartment. Um, honestly, basement apartment or regular apartment, it doesn't really matter. Um, as long as we have our own space, um, but I'm done with being broke. I'm done with having broke thoughts. I'm done with doing broke things. You know, I want to be able to spend 25 bucks randomly at a, you know, a get together or what have you, um, whenever I want, you know what I mean? I don't want to have to feel like, damn, I can't, I can't participate cause I'm broke, you know? Um, but other than that, you know, we're just going to get through it one step at a time. You know what I mean?
one step at a time. But um, just trying to make better decisions, you know, because if you don't, it's just what can you do? You know, you just end up staying in the same place that you were without any any hope of going out, dreaming, doing what you want. So, you know. I want to be able to send my kid to daycare um, just because, you know, right now my wife isn't working, but when she does start to work, um, I would like to send her to daycare just because it's going to be better for her in terms of socialization and, you know, hanging out with other kids um, you know, she's, she's not bad though. You know, she's able to read a room a little bit and she has her own little personality and stuff like that. But, you know, we want to make it so that way there's no reason to believe that she's being left behind socially, you know? And that's a big thing, you know, especially nowadays. It's really all about the soft skills that you have that can really be a game changer for you um, in terms of, you know, what you do and how you do it and your career. Honestly, your relationship with people in general. Right now, it's hard for regular people that have gone through regular socialization due to COVID, you know, it's hard for people to be social and it's hard for people to want, want to be social nowadays and want to make friends and want to create this uh, network, you know? Um, I have a friend named Jose Escobar. Uh, shout out to him. He uh, he's doing his thing. You know what I mean? Uh, coaching and and making people better in terms of uh, speaking. You know what I mean? And networking, socialization. It's great. It's great. We need more of that. We need more of that on a bigger scale. He wants to go global. I hope he does. Um, he's already been, you know, he already has a few members that are like out of country and stuff like that. So, yeah. But, you know. Anyways, back to the topic at hand of bettering myself. Um, I might end up doing one of his programs just to just to um, <clears throat> I might be doing I might do one of his programs just to get a little bit better at speaking in front of crowds. Uh, honestly, I got the confidence to do it. Um, but ooh, I don't have the practice to do it. I smell the ganja. It smells good. Um, also, I want to try my best to start my own business. Um, I've been talking about this for a while. If you know me, you know, it's something that you know about me already. That I am trying to start a cannabis consulting business. Um, I'm going to actually write my own book. Um, so you're going to see a few videos of me writing, trying to get things put together. Um, but yeah.
but yeah. Um, I feel like cannabis can be a help for a lot of people. Um, I'm not trying to say like, oh yeah, cannabis will help everything and everyone. But I will say that it has its place in holistic medicine. It has its place as, you know, um, something that can help with anxiety, inflammation, um, depression. Um, CBD especially can help with schizophrenia. Um, I've been looking into it a lot just because I have schizophrenia. I use medical cannabis. So, you know, they say that, uh, they say that, um, they say that, um, THC actually affects psychosis in schizophrenia patients. Um, honestly, for me, I haven't felt, uh, I haven't, I don't agree at all, you know, but of course everyone is different. Everyone has different bodies. Everyone has different ways of going about things. Um, you know, different reactions. So honestly, um, you know, it's up to everybody's preferences and up to everybody's body, you know? Um, I, uh, man, I'm just meeting up with this trash guy everywhere. <laughs> but um, I'm definitely on a groove. I can feel it. You know what I mean? Um, I am gonna try my best to better myself, to better those around me, and to heighten my sense of, I don't know how to put it, heighten my sense of uh, making sure everything goes down, you know? It's not, it's not the way to put it, but <laughs> that's just all I can think of right now. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Um, also, I've been watching a lot of cozy video game videos and they're bringing me so much joy. It's like soothing, you know? Uh, different colored keycaps to keyboards, fluffy surfaces. I'm going on an uphill right now, if that's why you hear me breathing. But it's good. I feel it. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to feel the walk. You know, after this, when I get home, take a shower chill out for like 20 minutes probably just spend some time with the wife and daughter and uh take a shower go to work all right that's all we can do go to work well all right y'all i'm gonna get back to this walk get back home hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day hope you've enjoyed the video like comment subscribe um big ups to the 27 subscribers i have right now the real ones right there <laughs> but uh it's not a lot of subscribers but honestly it makes me so happy to know that I show up on 27 people's feed. So, you know, 
Let's do it. Let's do it. Peace.